Charlotte Hornets second year shooting guard James Booknight was arrested yesterday for a DWI. That pretty much puts the cherry on top of this being the absolute worst offseason in Charlotte Hornets franchise history. In this video, I'm going to give you a more detailed overview of what went down with James Booknight and how it will affect the Charlotte Hornets moving forward into the season. And we're going to get into that right after this. I'm from the foe. You dig? Welcome to The Way I See It. I am Jamari Rashad. This is a Charlotte Hornet and Carolina Panthers fan channel. Please do me a favor and go ahead and hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to, subscribe to the channel as I am on my road to 1K trying to get this channel monetized. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and move on into the video. Um, according to WBTV, a local Charlotte uh, news publication... <coughs> James Booknight was arrested for a DWI after being found unconscious in a parking deck. Now, that makes me assume that, uh, okay, he wasn't caught while actually driving, but he clearly had the keys in the ignition because I believe that's how that, um, how that law actually works. Charlotte Hornets Booknight was arrested over the weekend, yada, yada, yada. According to the Charlotte Sheriff Department, Booknight was booked into jail at 1.51 a.m. on Sunday and charged with a DWI. His bond was set at $2,500. Reports say the book night was found unconscious in a parking deck, a parking deck in an un, un, uptown Charlotte at 12:44 before he was arrested. Police also confirm a Glock 23 with a 40 millimeter, uh, with a 40 millimeter. It is confirmed. Uh, it isn't confirmed whether he is charged for possession of a firearm. The 22-year-old guard who played at uh, played for the Yukon Huskies prior to being drafted to the Hornets in 2021 was arrested just days before the uh, the team opens its 2022-2023 regular season against the uh, San Antonio uh, Spurs. Uh, the Hornets say that they're aware of the information. Yada yada yada. Uh, Book night did not practice on Monday, and they're still gathering information on that. Now, this right here is truly what I want to show you all because I wasn't even aware of this or either this just slipped under my radar without like me noticing. Book Knight has been arrested before uh, Book Knight has been arrested before Mecklenburg County. He was most recently charged with reckless driving to endanger on October 10th and reckless driving wanton disregard on November the 11th, 2021. And again on February twenty twenty third, uh, twenty uh, February twenty third, twenty twenty two. So this is like his, according to this, like his third or fourth time being arrested, and all of this news coming amidst the off season where the team is dealing with the entire uh, Miles Bridges situation. So with that being said, uh, moving forward, I believe that Book Knight will definitely miss some time to start the year as the Hornets are dealing with um, a few or, well, one very big um, legal matter during, um, during they have dealt with it over the offseason, they're going to be dealing with it into this, uh, into the regular season. I doubt that they're going to want to let this fester too much by putting him out uh, on the, on the court, um, you know, letting the news publications, letting whoever uh, we play against, um, in whatever other city get to um, get to write their stories about him even though they can do that anyway it'll be more e it'll be more easy for him to be targeted if he's actually on the court so I believe that they'll probably um, they'll probably hold him off the court for a little while just to um, improve the optics of the situation because allowing him to be out there while the miles while the miles bridges situation is still going through its court proceedings it's just it's just not good optics and I believe they will uh, they will come under a lot of fire for that and uh, they just can't do it now uh, with that being said I'm just very disappointed in uh in James book night this behavior is oftentimes excused on a lot of young players but the caveat to that is those players often play in large markets in large cities and stuff like that where there's a lot to do that uh, a person of that age just 22 years old uh, is bound to probably get into trouble making millions of dollars but this isn't Las Vegas this isn't New York this isn't LA this isn't like this is Charlotte I'm born and raised here you know what I'm saying I know what a party at I know how to have fun but 
to say, to think that he's just out living this type of life locally here just means that, you know what I'm saying, like, man, he's on the edge, but I'm going to cut him a, uh, cut him a little bit of, a little bit of, <clears throat> a little bit of slack and say, yeah, he is only 22 years old. I made some dumb decisions at 22 years old, but I also wasn't making millions of dollars at 22 years old. So James Booknight uh, is going to be absent, in my opinion, for the beginning of the season, meaning that that puts uh, yet another um, hurdle for this team to have to get over uh, with Melo already being injured, uh, the wish and a prayer for Gordon Hayward to stay uh, healthy, Mark Williams apparently being the third string um, center drafted in the first round this year. It's a lot going on, and Book Knight was actually going to get his opportunity from what it looked like in the preseason, and that's actually uh, not going to happen. So uh, Bryce McGowan's on that two-way contract might be seeing a lot more minutes in his rookie year than he was expecting uh, if this situation goes um, past the beginning of the year or past the first quarter of the year. But with that being said, man, that is the news on James Book Night. You all let me know what you think of this situation below. Um make sure you like the video, man. And uh like I said, I'm just I'm 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 a bit dis I'm not even gonna say a bit disappointed, man. This is a few days before the season. We're already going through turmoil, man. I'm just really, really disappointed with the entire situation and, and James Book Knight himself. But with that being said, man, I am Jamario Rashad Rashad <laughs> this is the way I see it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.